up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Atalano and I'm back with another video. I know, I know I have been missing in action for three months. The reason I've been gone for YouTube for so long is basically life. Yes, y'all, life has been rough as a junior in college. I have been missing in action because I've been focusing on securing an internship, which is what today's video is going to be about. I'm so excited to talk about this topic because it has been highly requested by everyone. A little bit about me, if you're not familiar with my YouTube channel, I am double majoring in business and marketing and supply chain management. And I also have a certificate in LGBT studies. I also did successfully secure two internships with two Fortune 500 companies, one of them being the Hershey company and the other one being PepsiCo. I know when it comes to talking about internships, it can be just so stressful. And I want this to be like a stress-free environment, y'all. Just you know, we just gonna we just gonna have fun today. If you don't have an internship, it is not too late. You still have time. You know, with 2019 just starting, it is the new year, y'all. You know, just it's time to get that motivation started. Yes, there is still time. So that new year resolution, secure the bag. Secure that dream internship that you want. And if you go to a college like me, definitely go to a career fair. I'm telling you, you better get your ass up and go to that career fair. I'm telling you this now because I know some of y'all do not do that. And I know, I know it can be so stressful and so laborious. One of my values is connecting with people, right? If I cannot connect with somebody physically, um, where can I bridge that gap? So attending a career fair is one of those things. But this is one of the best ways to honestly secure an internship. If you see a company or you see multiple companies that you wanna work for physically there at the career fair, go. Because if you can create that connection, if they could see you face to face, it would just make it so much easier for you to learn more about that company by talking to a person and it will make you stand out more um, in your resume and application because a recruiter is going to remember you more if you meet in person and tell them your name versus like not going at all and just sending in an application. Now I know some people don't have successes with career fairs. I just believe that networking is one of the most powerful tools. How I secured my two internships was honestly through networking. If you can't attend a career fair or if you're not in college but you're still looking to attend or a physical space, look at conference events, right? Like conference events are open to everybody. Then go to that conference event and you can meet a bunch of professionals within that industry and network with them and see if they're looking for a job. Like networking can get you so far and it's it really is who you know within the world because if you don't know the right people, um, they're not gonna help you succeed in life. Like the right people will want to help you succeed in life. The right, connecting with the right people will connect you with the right position, the right job. Connecting with the right people will put your foot in the door. You need to meet people. Period. 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 When I used to ask people kind of like what their tips of applying for an internship was, a lot of people were like, oh, like I applied to like 50 different internships and I heard back from like three. And for me, like I felt like applying to 50 different companies and internships just felt like too much. That's like a lot of time like wasted basically because again, like that's a lot of energy that you're doing um, to apply for like an internship. I believe the best way to start off this approach is to definitely move with intention. I think quality goes over quantity when applying to internships. So I would think at, in an economic standpoint, I would think investing more time into um, tailoring your application to the company you want versus just applying to 50 different companies is way more valuable. Your best bet um, in securing your dream internship for the summer or a really good internship for the summer is to research what companies or what type of work you're looking for. Definitely research your top five, 10 companies and research the values of those companies, research what they're currently doing. Like literally it's all on the internet. So there's like no excuses. They have a website. All you do is go to the about and like read the about. Do your due diligence and really research what that organization is about and like why you wanna work for them. Start by um, looking into the company's core values. Do those core values match with your core values? You need to determine what are the core values that matter to you the most. For me, it's to create, it's to connect, and it's to inspire. If I don't have those three core values within a company, I'm not gonna wanna work for them. Once you determine your own personal brand by identifying those three values, you become such a stronger asset to the company because you know yourself. You know yourself as an asset to that company and you know what you can bring to the table. You are going to bring it to this company. Like you are going to help this company bring results. You are going to be the best 
that you can with your capabilities and you are willing to learn. That you, That is the mindset that you have to go when applying to these internships. It's okay to be scared, but you have to go in there believing that you're gonna secure this bag. Okay, you gotta go in there believing that you can finesse and you can secure this bag because you are that person. You are the individual. When you are competing against other individuals, you need to put yourself in a place of power. Once you believe in yourself, like, bruh, like it, doesn't matter because whether you get the internship or not, you're gonna be so happy that you put your best foot forward and you put the best out there and that you believe that you deserve that internship. And then if you don't get the internship, it was their loss. So after you've determined the companies that you wanna work for and the qualities that match your own values, you can start looking at your own experiences in the past and start tailoring them to the specific job role of those internships. And they literally tell you it in the job description. When you look at the job description, there are going to be certain skills that they're going to be looking for and you can tailor those skills to past experience in the past. This is where a lot of people get tripped up because they feel like they don't have the experience or they don't have the skill sets necessary for the internship. It's your job to essentially showcase to them that you have the willingness to learn those skills or you have the drive to learn those skills. This is where it's important to start really critically looking at the road step of your experience. Now, what I mean by road step, I mean about background experience. So what volunteer work experience have you done? What part-time jobs have you worked in, you know? Um, other past internships that you've done, you know, other types of independent projects, all of these experiences matter because you can tailor those experiences to the certain skills that they're looking for. So, okay, y'all, I don't wanna make this video any more longer than it already is. I really want it to be as succinct and chill as possible. I just want y'all to live your best lives and be the best versions of yourselves. So without further ado, I just wanna thank everybody for tuning into my YouTube channel. I hope that this video will help you secure the bag because we, we are out here, sisters. We are just trying to grind and finesse the world. And don't forget to leave a comment and like down below. And don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and social media down below. Best of luck, everyone. And, you know, Happy New Year. Deuces!